let's get to the fun portion. So I don't frequently watch Jubilee videos. They're what I'd consider junk food content. You know, they're Good for the soul sometimes, but not necessarily the most substantive. Maybe from a sociological standpoint, it's meaningful. But, you know, these are just entertaining. And I think that sometimes it's really good to let loose, clear your mind, and just watch something that's that's fun, that's stupid. And that's what we're going to do. So this is um, five anti-vaxxers versus two fakes on Odd One Out from Jubilee. So automatically... There are more dumb fucks here than there are just logical people. So I do have a problem with that. I wish that it was, um, you know, more pro-vaxxers than just a couple of anti-vaxxers. But the problem is that anti-vaxxers wouldn't be able to blend in with the people who believe in science because they're just scientifically illiterate. And the second people start praising vaccines for their efficacy and use usefulness to humanity, they'd start foaming at the mouth and give themselves away. So I haven't pre-watched this, so I have no idea who's the fakes and who's the reals. Um, but odds are I'm going to get it wrong. But, you know, either way, we'll have some fun. Vaccine. Anti-vaccine. 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 Wait, 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 stop. Two of them are liars. I'm sorry, but didn't you say five of them were anti-vaxxers? <laughs> I mean, look, to be fair, maybe they genuinely believe that vaccines are like poison or something, but to say that they're not liars feels wrong, does it not? I am not vaccinated and I haven't been vaccinated. And I have two kids, they haven't been vaccinated either. And that's all vaccines. Uh, the whole uh, COVID pandemic kind of woke me up. It feels like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti-vax or I haven't been vaccinated. I'm a pharmacist and when they put in with the COVID vaccination, I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes to how many things are- Okay, are you an actual pharmacist or do you work at a pharmacy? Because those are two very different things. Like I've seen people who purport to be experts on vaccines uh, because they work at pharmacies and that's that's very different so i hope that she um is pressed on this by the other folks but yeah vaccines and how much we don't discuss them in the medical community my anti is toward covid vaccines actually truth be told the rapid test we just took was the first covid test i've ever taken <laughs> i refused to take a covid test the vaccine was pushed so that they could rig the election and that's personally my belief so you believe the election was rigged i believe it was yes Cool. Growing up, I got most but of the like, vaccines, however. I'm sorry, if you believe this, Trump is pro-vaccine because he wants credit for it. That guy's a little bit sus. Especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase of the vaccine mandate and having it required for the rest of the chain. Um, so I actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent mail order pharmacy. And she got me a gig there. And since then, they were pretty chill. Since so I you left there. willingly. They didn't like ask you to leave? Yeah. So I used to actually... Okay, I start I'm just going to put this out there. The fact that this guy is trying to press the pharmacist the pharmacist um that's what i would do so I, I feel like if i had to just make a preliminary guess i'd say that he's probably the pro vaxxer the non-dumb fuck here and the guy with the longer hair he just looks like an anti-vaxxer so regardless of what he says i'm gonna probably keep him in that category the teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids so that was really frustrating for me because working with kids is a big passion of mine and the fact that i was fired from my career just because of a personal choice is like really upsetting to me yeah. so that's why i'm very passionate about this issue now i was actually asked to leave nursing school i started for a month and then they accepted my religious exemption and then a month into it said never mind so yeah i looked out because i go to i go to college in uh, oregon and uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything. But I was able to get the philosophical exemption. And then they wanted to test me weekly. And I was like, no, like, like I'm not doing that. And then um, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like you're fine. Well, okay. So uh, as somebody from Oregon who knows people who tried to get religious and philosophical exemptions, but then had to test, 
it leads me to believe that he's telling the truth. He's actually an anti-vaxxer, as I suspected, because he just looks like an anti-vaxxer. Like some anti-vaxxers have like an anti-vaxxer face. And I can't explain what that looks like, but it just, you know, you know it when you see it, right, folks? But having him like knowing so many details, I'm going to say this is definitely one of the anti-vaxxers. <laughs> oh, they already have to vote. Ryan, because in the waiting room we were joking that his name was Brian and not Ryan, and then I. That's okay. okay. Wait, 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 what? What? Why is that relevant? You joked about his name, and that's why you're writing him down. Just because she thought that that was relevant leads me to believe that she's an anti-vaxxer because like what I'm looking for is yeah, I guess specific cues that they're stupid and lack common sense. I could not believe that I got voted out first round. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's for sure. Mm. How has so it he's just like genuinely a dumb fuck. Okay. <laughs> that, I guess that makes sense too, right? Not being vaccinated affected like your guys' personal relationships, like friends and family. I had to miss a wedding that I was really excited for for one of my friends. Ha ha. Indiana. She ultimately decided to ask everyone to be vaccinated because her grandparents were there, which I completely understood, but it was really heartbreaking to not be a part of that special day with her. Yeah. Then get vaccinated, you dumb motherfucker. I'm kind of... I don't know. The things that she's saying, maybe it leads me to believe that she is the pro-vaxxer. I genuinely don't know. One side of my family refused to see me, so that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people tie certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not a right and a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I am not just someone who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I've contacted the virus before and um, multiple studies have shown that natural immunity actually lasts longer as far as resilience to um, contacting COVID again. The right to our own body. She seems genuine. Um, it is true that anti-vaxxers aren't necessarily right-wingers for sure. Like I know people who are just kind of apolitical but they don't want to get the vaccine because they've been influenced by social media or whatnot. Um, so, you know, maybe you could be a liberal. There's there's a lot of anti-science liberals, too, who are super, like, into dumb shit, like anti-vax bullshit. Um, you know, they're hysterical over GMOs, and that's like putting aside the Monsanto and, and that horrible organization, but they, like, have this belief that, like, GMOs will kill you and they're, like, anti-nuclear energy. So there are like liberals who have these like scientifically illiterate beliefs. So uh, I, she seems genuine to me for those reasons. Is um, the opposite of tyranny that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, yeah I'm very libertarian leaning. Heck so yeah. Oh, okay, so she's, she's not a, a liberal, she's a libertarian. Okay, but she's not a right-wing extremist. Okay, okay. Anti-vax in this day and age has certainly become a pipeline to the right wing at a minimum, but I, I think that most people who are right wing are anti vax or most people who are anti vax rather are right wing but you know that's not true in 100% of cases but just like mostly my ideas aren't like i line up with a republican or democrat for me it's yes. just we should have the ability to you know decide what we want to do yeah and i just think it's scary too when the government starts to say like they're doing this for your own health and their safety and yeah. it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes <laughs> yeah, like exactly. years ago yeah. like it's it like, just seemed like a lot of censorship too like to not be able to like mm, i don't know what to make of this because it is interesting that she brought up smoking but the thing about smoking is that this was a really contentious issue before with smoking you know, when they stopped letting people smoke indoors, the same people were screeching about freedom and how their freedom was being taken away uh, because they wanted to be able to smoke indoors. But that like this issue was about, no, like your freedom to smoke indoors impedes on the p people who are around you and their freedom to breathe in clean air. So I'm not sure, you know, th I don't know what to make of this, whether she is being authentic or not shade dragon that's a perfect point your rights end where mine begin exactly find any other information about like side effects i have 
a few friends who had like some bad side effects, but you can't, once you post that out there, it's censored. censored. Even yeah. the Veers report, there's thousands of reports. All of these people sound like Jimmy Dore. <laughs> they, they all sound the same. Some yes. people with like yes. vaccine side effects and people pretend like that's not a reality. And I think it's interesting how they care about our health and everything, but they say- Okay, that dude who just said that, who brought up Veers, he's really sus to me. I have reason to believe that he's like pro-vax because you can tell he's done his research into the talking points that anti-vaxxers use or at least knows them enough. Um, so I'm really leaning towards him being like one of the pro-vaxxers. Now it's just a matter of like, is it Maddie or is it the pharmacist? Nico is 100% like he's an anti-vaxxer. Like, just look at him. Like, this is the face of an anti-vaxxer. And even if he comes out as the pro-vaxxer, I won't believe it. I'll be skeptical either way. So, you know, it's unfalsifi unfalsifiable. I I'm correct either way. Um, <laughs> either way, let's, let's finish. About nutrition, sunlight, uh, w working out, going to the gym, getting outside and being around people that love you and stuff like that. Like, that's good for your health. Instead, they lock us in. He watches Joe Rogan. In a room uh, with like artificial lighting and paint and, and don't get sunlight and don't get to talk to people. Yeah, and then they put a mask on us, which is not healthy at all. Nico was throwing out a lot of buzzwords. Uh, he kept saying pandemic, and I think he said jab. Very much so it looked like he was making a character and he was really trying to hit all the, the buttons. I was teaching first grade. The I fact that he is like savvy enough to recognize these buzzwords and the way that pandemic was used kind of a conspicuously makes me even more suspicious of him i think this dude is pro-vax i think he's sus in a good way though in this instance because he's not the dumb fuck just to be clear those kids because of the covid lockdowns they had never had any social experience for the past two years and to act like that isn't detrimental to their social health to their mental health it very frustrates me what san Bernardino county okay. i was saying i personally don't think that it's really anybody's business if yeah. i've been vaccinated or not and i don't think that i should not be able to go certain places eat certain places or even enroll my kids in school because they haven't been vaccinated it's just not it's not fair, and it's like really nobody's business. It's my my health, you know. You said none of your, your kids don't have any vaccines, no, right? How I have, did that affect I've never them, had like going getting into school. Uh, well, they're three and two oh, months, okay. so okay. she's they're not old mm -hmm. enough yet. But um, yeah, I have. I hope that she's the liar here. I hope she's the pro vaxxer because if you haven't gotten your kids any vaccines, fuck you. Like people like this are why polio is coming back. These people are the worst people, so I really hope that she is telling the lies here. I, I don't know what to make of her, though, because she's been relatively quiet, so I, I have no idea if she's being authentic here, but I I hope, for the love of God, that she's fucking lying here, because Jesus Christ. Either in it. Yeah, it has got polio in the UK now, too. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out, $27. These people are bringing back fucking cured diseases because they won't vaccinate their fucking children it is completely unacceptable completely and to be clear like this whole anti-vax sentiment with uh children this was prominent before the covid vaccine but i think that the covid vaccine like because it became a partisan issue made anti-vax views just more mainstream so now people can kind of admit things like this but i really am crossing my fingers that she's the liar because fuck you lady if your kids aren't vaccinated like jesus christ because you are putting other kids at risk, especially if they're immunocompromised. Becca, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. Me in any way, um, when I get sick, I get sick for like one or two days and then I'm done, yeah. I'm back healthy. And I only get sick maybe like two times a year. You said that you moved down to California? Yeah, yesterday. Why? I'm trying to get out. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of California. Yeah, no, so me too. So why did you move yeah. to California if it's so hard to go? For sure, California? yeah. So uh, lived in Texas for like 10 years. Uh, then I moved to Oregon for school, and then uh, I got a job offer um, as an internship here in California. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, yeah, all the mandates and everything I don't like, but, I mean, it's California. It's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here. So I'm trying to switch with you. I want to go to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll take your own spot. I'll take sure. your own spot. Yeah. Hmm. He went to university in Oregon and somehow wasn't required to get vaccinated there. Why would someone move from a more conservative area to a liberal area if they were anti-vax? I still, that doesn't really lead me to be more skeptical of him. Because if you got an internship offer, then yeah, you're going to kind of suck it up. Okay. 
bungalow after. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Can I ask who everybody voted for in the elections? I voted for, oh, you're talking about the actual election? Yes. Oh, I voted for Trump. Again, like I'm libertarian, that isn't really my, I'm not a Republican, but he definitely was a better choice over what we have now. Yeah, I'm libertarian as well, and I actually believe that neither of the candidates were good, and I did not feel comfortable supporting either of them, so I did not vote. Right, I didn't vote either. I haven't voted in like two years. I haven't voted either. I felt really uncomfortable with just how nasty everything was getting. Everything kept getting more increasingly cloudy. I felt like as the election came closer and closer, so I just didn't feel like I had enough information regarding either of them. To as she talks more, I grow more skeptical of her, but it's so hard to say. The only one that I'm really like sure about is the dude. I don't know his name, but yeah. But it like has to ballot. I get that. I mean, they're both really divisive, but like, you know, the effects matter. And like seeing especially what's going on now, I mean, we might not like either of the candidates, one of them getting in. And we got to do our best, you know, to get the, the least of two evils. I think that is important. I mean, I personally voted for Trump. Um, I actually worked on uh, his campaign because I actually do. Um, I don't like everything he says, but I like his policies. Um, and I believe that he allows people to live their lives and doesn't try to get involved with all of your business. Um, Wait, so you said you worked on his campaign? Did you, you guys didn't have to get vaccinated for that or? So that was a 2016 was campaign. 2016, mm -hmm. okay, okay. I don't think he would have required it for the 2020 one, but I, I would work to the 2016 one, okay. didn't do anything for the 2020. Asabi, I wanted to ask you more about your- Well, and the vaccines weren't available in the 2020 election, so it would have been irrelevant. It's because we mentioned earlier that in general, you don't feel like it's anyone's business. We kind of touched on autonomy. I wanted to hear more about why you specifically decide not to vaccinate yourself and your children. So I grew up very like uh, religious, I guess you could say. And my belief like vaccines are like a no-go. Like we don't believe that um, we should put like poison in our bodies and like we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way so okay that right there is very suspicious because she's being really vague like religious people there are faith healers out there like i knew some jehovah's witnesses as as a kid and they were faith healers like one of their children had pneumonia and you know, the way that they talked about it was we're not taking them to the doctor. We're praying. We believe in God. We have faith. And my family, even though we were evangelical Christians, so, you know, different religion technically, um, they were not faith healers. And they did believe in modern medicine and whatnot. And I was vaccinated as a kid, even though my family was religious. I, I feel like she would speak to this with more specificity. But because she's being so vague, it leads me to believe that she's hiding something. And maybe she's like the mole. So... The more she talks, the more sus I become of her. But maybe that's wishful thinking because I just don't want to believe that she's not vaccinating her fucking children. Like, it's cognitive dissonance. Like, I don't want to accept that. Like, holy shit, people. Vaccinate your fucking kids. Poison in our bodies. And, like, we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way. So She was, like, the religion religious reason is she thinking about this on the spot uh, yeah i agree with this analysis here it's like in a holistic way but yet you talked about religion so you would use god as your justification um i don't believe her so i'm gonna say now i was leaning towards the pharmacist but i'm gonna say her and the uh the teacher dude and first corinthians 2 5 says you know our faith shouldn't be trusted in the wisdom of men but in the power of god okay and so that right there just confirmed he's the faker because he literally went out of his way to memorize a verse. If you um, talk to a Christian and ask them to cite a Bible verse, 50% of them won't be able to, and the other 50% will just say the one that they know. Oh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son. But he literally went out of his way to find a specific Bible verse just to kind of dupe them. No, he's the mole. I think these are the two moles. This is my current vote. Um, I'm very strong on him being the mole. Uh, getting stronger on her being the mole me it's like that doesn't mean that like man has ultimate wisdom but like what they try to push of like this is what you need to do like that automatically throws red flags for me he used a bible verse for me that was like okay he believes in kind of like the same thing i believe in biblically speaking for me it's like you back when you know in pharaoh's 
in those days, they were killing babies. And then with the vaccine, it's like, I, I just don't trust it because yeah. you're trying to mandate something that could possibly harm or kill someone. And yeah, okay, harm. the more she talks, the more sus. I think she's the mole. I know how much Big Pharma puts money in this The left for so money. long has been, oh, we're against Big Pharma. And then all of a sudden that. they jump in and it's like, that. everyone needs to listen to what Pfizer says. Everyone needs to listen to what Moderna and J.P. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that he dude, he's like, he's got to be on leftist Twitter. He's got to be on leftist Twitter for sure. <laughs> That's... Gamer G has the best verse. Uh, I only know Mike 420. For thou does not follow Humanist Report on thy Twitch platform shall be shamed and put to death. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's a good one. I think she is the faker, but she's just really bad at faking it to where even the dumb fuck anti-vaxxers like, mm, that seems a little bit suspicious. So yeah, she's acting. Very much into the pharmaceutical industry. Wait, 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 wait. let me go back. Let me go back. What'd you say? She said that she was very much into the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, now I'm doubting that because that's kind of a dumb thing to say. Oh, well, she said that she was into the pharmaceutical industry because she worked as a pharmacist. I feel like that's something an anti-vaxxer would say. But then again, an anti-vaxxer might want somebody who claims to be a pharmacist so that way they have that heightened legitimacy. So it's like, oh, this pharmacist is saying that this vaccine is bad. I don't know, folks. I, it's between the pharmacist, her, and this dude here. She's 1,000% an anti-vaxxer. Like, no question. She kind of said she wasn't very political, and I feel like at this point, it is kind of um, a political statement if you are not vaccinated. Uh, if you feel like the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, Please raise your hand. You need a majority vote. And since it's just the two of you, instead we're going to ask, can you share your suspicions? Let's air it out and let's have a conversation. I know it was Nico. That's number one. Yeah. <laughs> just because I think he was throwing out buzzwords. Like he developed a character. And he also talked about how he didn't have to get the vaccine at first in Oregon. Go to college in uh, Oregon. I was pretty confident it was Nico. I don't know who the other person would be. I don't suspect anyone else. I think it was Ryan too, honestly. Because yeah. Ryan, when he first said, this is the first COVID test I've ever taken. I trust you. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither of you guys voted also in the election, you said, correct? Right. I do find yeah. that kind of interesting just because I feel like it is so polarized. I'm yeah. totally with you on that mentality, but like just being around a lot of libertarian circles, there are a lot of people. And you guys both kind of said you're libertarian. Right? I uh, really, I honestly don't really have a strong political view, honestly. Where we are now in the world, it's it almost is a statement to not be vaccinated. Now it's not just like, oh, I wasn't provided enough information. I wasn't, you can go to CVS and get it for free. You are kind of making a political statement whether you like it or not, if you aren't vaccinated. I assume most of us don't agree with the mainstream media or like watch a lot of that because obviously there's a narrative that's pushed there. So I was gonna ask what type of media outlets do you guys I consume? follow um, the Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, what Candace Owens. Um, those are probably like <laughs> what ask people word in that the what? Um, the Daily Wire I've had a, a little bit of trouble with because Ben Shapiro has really like promoted vaccines. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like I, I do like I Candace, disagree with that. Part, I like yeah. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of okay. Wrong. He's on like leftist Twitter for sure. The fact that he knows that Ben Shapiro is not pro vax and she doesn't maybe maddie is the uh is the pro uh pro vaxxer because you know if you're really deep in it you know about ben shapiro but she like maybe she's pretending and she's like oh ben shapiro must be anti-vax i don't know on and off of ben shapiro but i like steven crowder uh i like dr robert malone hank pecker there's a lot Ooh, of different hang on a second did he just give away the game uh i like dr robert malone hank pecker that's a song holy shit okay okay he just gave it away. So now, <laughs> and that was, that's flawless. Like, because he's a Hassan fan, this is why he knows all this shit. Like he knows Dr. Malone, he's in these circles. So I'm, I'm glad that I nailed that because he, he listens to the same people that we listen to probably like we see the same viral videos. Love it. Love it right there. Love it. Okay. So we have definitive proof that this dude is the pro vaxxer, but Who's the other one? That The second one, I don't know. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push a more like, you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. 
she worked in the medical field, um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. I think being anti-vax is a big political statement, so that looked a little off to me. Okay, just tell us already. I was pretty bummed. I thought I had spoken pretty well about my beliefs, so I was surprised. If the lights turn red, that means a mole is still in the box. Okay, so he's a mole for sure. But the question is, before we find out, who do you all think it is? I'm going to say her. I'm going to say these are the two moles. That's my final guess, but I really am not feeling strong. I could be persuaded, but, you know, very, very confident now. 100% he's a mole and not very confident, but leaning towards her being a mole. And you lose. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out. And you win. <gasps> it's not me. It's you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be you. I think it's Matt. So on he's the still, three, he's I'm still faking it. Two moles to step out. Oh, here it is. Themselves. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so I was leaning towards the pharmacist, ultimately incorrect. That means that this lady is an actual dumb fuck and she did not vaccinate her kids. Fuck you, lady. Fuck you. I was like, no, she's playing, she's playing too dumb. No, she's actually dumb. <laughs> I should have I should have known it was Mason. Going into it, I was like, okay, he and I are. By the way, I told you this was an anti-vaxxer. Look at that. He is an anti-vaxxer. I nailed him too. Oh, that sounded bad. I I nailed it. Oh, Michael, Jesus. Like we have an alliance. Like we're good. He definitely sold me. So this dude looks like he's wearing a toupee. Not to harp on that too much, but like this is like what I envision when I think anti-vaxxer. Like well done, my. Yeah, friend. it's a semi mullet. I'm very politically engaged. So I've had a lot of conversations with people just about, you know, whether or not people should get vaccines, whether or not there should be government mandates, that type of thing. I've heard a lot of opinions on both sides. My goal here was to kind of just be really subtle about it and to kind of just sow doubt in the vaccine, not really take a hard stance of like pandemic or like microchips, you know, that extreme wing, because I don't think anyone really here is on that, you know, spectrum. Honestly, I said that because I was trying to get some points because I thought like if I say pandemic, I'm good to go. Yeah, um, I'm a pharmacist. I actually was a part of the initial movement to vaccinate. I went to nursing homes, put vaccine in arms. Um, a big part of my experience- Oh, they're all like sitting there shaking like, you did what? You did what? You vaccinated people? You fucking murderer? Just wa see, like watch their lips. They're gonna start foaming at the mouth. Just watch them closely. With that is just seeing how much of a Are you triggered? COVID has taken on my fellow healthcare workers. I have people that work in the ED and see how tragic that is. One of my closest friends actually lost her father to COVID. There's a lot of data in medicine that I question all the time. As a person of color and as a woman, I know how much the data is against people like me being treated. But the vaccine is something that I've seen time and time again that I don't typically question. The data just stands for me, so I stand with it. I, I really do understand why a lot of people people are concerned with how far can government reach and what does that mean for the common people? Where do we draw the line? I think that is in genuinely a super important conversation to have. Most people who are skeptical of the vaccine are either consuming that from certain media outlets or just people that are around them really pushing that idea. If we as people who think vaccines are important don't actually interact with them, they're just kind of stuck in that bubble and that's not helpful for anybody. Don't high five the lady who didn't vaccinate her kids. She should be shamed and booed out of there. That is so, that is egregious. Holy shit. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.